Happy New Year! Hey everyone, Happy Chinese New Year! I just wanted to make a little video because I had a story I really wanted to share and some of you that follow my Instagram probably already pieced some of this together but I have to tell you the whole story. This was just the craziest fun time I've ever had on Chinese New Year. Uh, what I did was I went to Macau and some of you might know Macau is known as a gambling mecca. I love gambling. I try not to do it too much. I maybe go once a year. And this was the one time I decided to go. Last time I went, for like a month, I kept having these visions of going to Macau and winning. I was going to sit down at the three card poker table and bam, I was going to get straight flush and win a bunch of money. And sure enough, I went to Macau, I sat down at the three card poker table and within five minutes, I got a straight flush and won over a thousand US dollars. And it was insane. This last time did not quite go like that. It was a real spur of the moment thing. I hadn't been thinking about it and um, I don't know. I just decided to go anyway. You know, I want to say I'm not sharing this story because I want to brag. I mean, I'm excited about it, so I do want to share the story. Mostly I want to share the story because I think it really relays the powers of positive thinking and visualization. You might say I'm crazy, you might just say I'm lucky, and that's true. However, I was certainly staying positive even when things were going bad, and I truly, truly visualized what I wanted to happen. I visualized my expected outcome, and I believed it was going to happen, and I was right. I took out 5,000 Hong Kong dollars, that's about 600 something US dollars, and I sat down, I started playing, and I got wiped out, cleaned out, and really, that was supposed to be it. That was actually supposed to be more than it. That was supposed to be the money to gamble with and the money to go back home. I got wiped out. I still wanted to play. I took out another 5,000 Hong Kong dollars. So now I'm 10,000 Hong Kong dollars down. So I go back, I start playing three card poker. I'm losing, I'm losing, I'm losing. Finally, I give up. I go play blackjack. I actually break even playing blackjack. I left the blackjack table, went back to the three card poker table and I won a little. And then the dealer changed and the dealer that had wiped me out was sitting by herself. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go play with that dealer. And sat down playing by myself and started winning. And I was, you know, having a lot of fun. I started talking to the dealer. She started talking and smiling. She was having fun. I was talking to her and the pit boss. So now we're having fun and I started winning. So I won back, I, I broke even again, but then I lost it. I lost it all again. I got that down to about $2,000. And then I won a couple of hands. Actually, the dealer gave me a three of a kind hand, which pays 25 to one on the bonus. And so after that, I broke even. And actually, the dealer mispaid me. It was insane. She paid me 40 to one instead of 25 to one on my bet. And I was like, wait, 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 <laughs> you can't do that. And I pointed it out to her. So she was very happy because that way she didn't lose her job and you know I was happy because I did the right thing so she had just dealt me three kings and I was like wow that is awesome and later on some people came some people left people moved me around you know sitting in front of me sitting behind me and I kept you know even I'd go up I'd go down and I was trying to put money in my pocket to make sure I left with it so like when I broke even I put that 10,000 in my pocket and I kept the rest of it on the table and then later on, I got three queens. And the funny thing was, I only saw two of them, and I played my cards, and when the dealer flipped them over, bam, I got three of a kind. I was all excited, I jumped up and started screaming, and like a security guard came over and was standing next to the table. I'm like, oh, okay, don't get too happy in the casino. So I told the dealer, I said, okay, next time I win something big, I'll just golf clap. And sure enough, I got three aces, same thing. I only saw two cards, dealer flipped them over, I had three of a kind, I'm like, oh, wonderful. Thank you. And um, so I'm playing, I had been playing for hours. I had been playing so long that I went all the way down to, you know, a couple thousand left, back even, back down, back even, back down, and back even a third time. And this third time started winning a little, and I got up to about 15,000, and the dealer and the pit boss are telling me, go home, go home, you know, you're, you're doing good, go home. But I kept feeling like I was going to get a straight flush. And in three card poker, a straight flush pays 40 to one. 
and I just, I kept seeing seven, eight, nine of hearts. And I'm like, I'm going to get this. I just need to wait. I'm going to get this. I just need to wait. And it's going to happen. And um, I'm playing, I'm playing, and hours go by. Now it's 10 o'clock at night. And I've been there about five, six hours. The dealer tells me that she's going on break for 30 minutes. She'll be back. And then she's getting off work at 11 o'clock. And I'm like, oh, so I only have a little bit of time left. Because I decided that when she leaves, I'm done. I got up and went walking around, came back just in time for the other dealer to come back and the people at the table moved around on me. So I ended up sitting in the first position where I had been sitting in the middle of the table. And the dealer's like, why don't you go home? You've got money, you know, you've got more than you started with. Why don't you go home? And I said, no, 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 I just, I just need to wait. I'm going to get these cards, I just need to wait. So she deals, I got nothing. And then she deals another hand and I said, I really have a feeling that you and I don't have to wait too much longer before this happens. I look at the cards, seven of hearts, eight of hearts, six of hearts. That close. And I told her, I said, oh, we don't have to wait <laughs> any longer. And I won 40 to one. And that put me up actually to 30,000 chips, 30,000. I couldn't believe it. And I was already playing the chips before I started counting them. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna put 25,000 in my pocket and the rest of it I'm gonna play. And I played up till 11 o'clock when that dealer got off her shift. And the weird thing is in Macau, they don't tip. Like you go to Vegas, you go to Reno, Atlantic City. I've always tipped dealers, but these dealers, they don't do that. I was so excited. I had so much fun. And now, look at that. I still have all this cash. Uh, if only it was 25,000 American dollars or 25,000 euros. Oh, but still, I mean, this means a lot to me. I won over 2,000 US dollars and that's gonna help me out a lot. I'm not a rich person by any means. And it's honestly stupid for me to go gambling because I don't, I don't have that kind of money. I'm in debt and yeah, anyway. It's my little addiction. I, I, I feed the demon once a year. The last four times I've gone to Macau, I've left with over a thousand dollars each time. I always play three card poker and I just get lucky. So there you have it everybody. I just want to wish you guys all a happy new year. I hope that your new year is awesome. I know that this year for me is going to be wonderful. I'm certain that there are going to be some great surprises in store and I hope that for all of you and all of your family that you are healthy and that you are happy and that you are prosperous this year. Happy new year!